Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update, sponsored by Tax Network USA, America's number one choice for tax resolution. Please go to TNUSA.com slash bill or call 800-245-6000. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is Friday, June 28th, 2024. Here's what's happening today in America. Joe Biden had a cold mask bill and Bibles in school. That's all coming up. Then Bill's going to be here with your message of the day. What can you even say about last night for Joe Biden? The question now is, can the Democrats put someone else in before the convention? But they got to get through Jill first. And there's nothing in Joe or Jill's character to suggest that they would resign. But that's the only way that the Democrats can move forward with someone else to free up the delegates. I love how all we've heard about from the left is about democracy. And yet the Democrats may now throw out the entire democracy of their primary process in order to put in Gavin or Michelle. Gavin Newsom being the good team player, playing his cards right. He said, we've got to have the back of this president. You don't turn your back because of one performance. Joe claimed that the Border Patrol endorsed him and the Border Patrol immediately shot back on Twitter. To be clear, we have never and never will endorse Biden. I can't wait to hear what Bill has to say all about this coming up. In other news, there are 20 states that have a Republican veto-proof majority in both of their House and Senate chambers. North Carolina is one of them, and they have a Democratic governor. Well, the Assembly passed a law, and the governor vetoed it, and the Assembly just overrode the veto. It's known as the Unmasking Mobs and Criminals Act. And it says you can't wear masks anymore. It's aimed at preventing protesters slash rioters from hiding behind a mask when committing a crime. One assemblyman says they're saying we don't want you to go out and throw a brick through a glass window or a business or break the law in some way and conceal your identity when you're doing that. And it's not just a red state thing. New York is considering the same thing, mostly inspired by pro-Hamas rioters. The Oklahoma State Superintendent of Schools just ordered all schools in Oklahoma to teach the Bible in grades 5 through 12. The usual chorus of, oh, separation of church and state people coming out of the woodwork. Of course, there's no such thing as that. Thomas Jefferson's point was that the government should not interfere in the inner workings of the church, not that the church should have no role in government or in public life. The superintendent said the Bible is an indispensable historical and cultural touchstone. Without basic knowledge of it, Oklahoma students are unable to properly contextualize the foundation of our nation, which is why Oklahoma educational standards provide for its instruction. Can't wait to hear what Bill has to say with your message of the day. Next. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800-925-7584 for a free quote. This protection plan is at an all-time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote, 800-925-7584, 800-925-7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Friday, everybody's asking, oh, who won the debate last night? And I'm not going to tell you on this minute 40 broadcast because it's way too complicated. And I have very specific analysis on BillOReilly.com, which will be fair and cover everything. I can tell you it's a very specific thing about who won something, like if the Yankees and the Mets play, you have a score. But in a debate, it's all subjective, and people believe what they want to believe. So you could be the greatest debater of all time, but if people don't like you, you don't win the debate. I will tell you that in America today, we have far too many people who are incapable of forming judgments about anything. So you watch the debate, 
Who do you think won? Why am I going to intrude on that? If you watched it in a fair-minded way, not as an ideologue, not as a zealot, but as an American, you know who won the debate. Now, I have a responsibility to you and to uh, the millions of people who watch and listen to me to give my opinion, and I will. As I said, on BillOReilly.com, but it's not going to just be, oh, Biden won, oh, Trump won. It's going to be backed up. And I don't really have time on this radio broadcast to do it, so I want to send you over where you can take your time to read my analysis. But in the end, the most important thing is you being able to make a sound judgment. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Okay, let's go to the mail. We've got Thomas Lane, Carlsbad, California, nice town. You've got to get rid of that electrical thing, though. Boy, if Carlsbad get rid of that, you'd be a showcase town. Hey, Bill, premium member, enjoy, no spin news. You've indicated CNN does not handle presidential debate uh, fairly. Uh, it will be finished. Why? CNN was not finished after their false reporting on Russian interference. Uh, they were. CNN's primetime audience, I checked last night, is now about 400,000. Remember, I did 6 million <laughs> when I was doing a VAC. They got punished like crazy. And you imagine another scandal? Okay. John Hill, Savannah, Tennessee. Not to give you a bigger head, O'Reilly, than you already have, but your advice for Trump's closing statement is fantastic. Thank you. And it's right on BillOReilly.com. was a message yesterday. Will Schroeder, Findlay, Ohio. Hey, Bill, I think Trump's best play for the debate would be to immediately pick his vice presidential choice. You know, that's a pretty smart move. I don't think he's going to do it, but if he says, well, before I want to before I get to that answer, I want to announce my running mate will be, whoa, right? Wow. That'd be, that's pretty smart, Will. I got to tell you. Howard, the debate won't mean anything meaningful no matter what happens. They will claim Biden won. And he's as sharp as ever. Okay, you're right. But they, on the Trump side, will do the same thing. Craig. I can't see Jake Tapper asking Joe Biden anything more challenging than his favorite ice cream. No, no. Tapper and Dana Besh will ask the questions about the border inflation. They have to. But they're not going to push it. Follow ups, you know. But they have to ask. In a moment, something you might not know. Everything is expensive these days. You know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might Not no. 59 years ago today, U.S. troops launched the first ground offensive of the Vietnam War. The mission was a failure and an early warning of the calamity that was to follow. Here's how America's conflict in Southeast Asia spiraled out of control. The Pentagon began sending military advisors into South Vietnam in November 1955 to stop the spread of communism from China. In 61, President Kennedy deployed 400 Green Berets to confront the communist Viet Cong. On June 28, 1965, 3,000 U.S. soldiers invaded a region southeast of Saigon called Viet Cong Zone D. They were unable to find the enemy, who were in tunnels beneath the ground. The operation was called off after three days. 
Five years later, a half million young Americans are fighting in Nam. In total, more than 2.7 million American men and women served in that country, peaking at 550,000 in 1969. 25% of them were drafted. 300,000 were wounded. 60,000 Americans killed in action. The war was one of the biggest debacles in U.S. history. Back home, the conflict tore the country apart. Nationwide protests shut down college campuses. The growing counterculture dominated. Music and television changed everything. The decade-long mission cost U.S. taxpayers a trillion dollars in today's currency. The war officially ended on January 27, 1973, with the Paris Peace Accords. They were signed by the USA and Vietnam. The pact called for the withdrawal of American forces, a complete ceasefire from all parties, the release of prisoners of war, and no further invasions. Well, the communists broke the agreement almost immediately. They stormed South Vietnam for the next two years, seizing control of Saigon, the capital, April 30th, 1975. And here's something else you might not know. Today, the unified country of Vietnam is completely dominated by the Communist Party. No freedom there. Back after this. Are you feeling the impact of recent timeshare industry changes? Now more than ever, the costs of timeshare ownership far outweigh the benefits. My friends at Lone Star Transfer are the only company I trust to help you get out. Our listeners' positive feedback demonstrates why I've supported the company for years. For more than a decade, they have helped over 20,000 owners get out of the timeshare. Their exclusive options can help you get out faster and easier, more than any other option in the country. They are the only company that will give you a written guarantee and release you from your timeshare in a specific time frame. With an A-plus rating at the Better Business Bureau, and thousands of five-star reviews, customer service is their top priority. For free consultation and a guaranteed solution, please call 855-551. 7066. That's 855 551 7066. Or go to lonestartransfer.com. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. <laughs>